we are going to the enterprise where the airship prototype was manufactured. Something is indeed actually really wrong. I was strolling well, but she literally passed by, indeed addressing this little at the enterprises where it was already manufactured. More. And you know, actually, in fact, believe it or not, one of the airships of our director, Ada Rubel, of our house. And on the way, he asks various tricky questions. Alak is no longer, well, already M. He answers them in a calm and collected manner with a thoughtful expression. Tell them we are just filming a video right now. Yes, you can say hello. Video, yes, here, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends, please meet the esteemed director of this company. So, this person first saw a magazine in 2003 in the airship. He looked at it, and they were manufactured 100 years ago. He built this building entirely himself with his own money. He invested 100 million yuan of his own money. Am I saying it correctly? 100 million yuan. He also borrowed another 100 million. He invested, built a rigid frame from carbon fiber, all of different diameters, all calculated. All of this is manufactured in China. He fully modeled this incredible airship inside it even has a spacious cabin at the bottom where he carefully placed a comfortable seat. He completely designed this front panel with great attention to detail and precision. It was all visible in it, meaning there were instruments. They showed me all of this in the presentation. And all of this is done to obtain the certificate. All European standards have been incorporated in order to develop the flight regulations and ensure compliance with all relevant and necessary guidelines. All of this is currently being signed and processed. And by the end of this year, the construction of a very huge hangar, or as it is also commonly called, a boathouse, will begin in the city of Xi'an, China. All the advanced construction technologies are also Chinese. All of this is set up very quickly, almost instantly, and within a year, the factory will be ready for production. And there will be not such small 66-meter airships, but 85-meter ones with a diameter of 26, 26, 26, 26, oh, 26 minutes, meters, right? These airships will already be manufactured at a rate of approximately around eight units each year for tourism throughout China. I have a lot more interesting things to tell you, but at this moment, at this moment, one question, how did you get to this point? What made you start doing all this? What was the idea? How, in general, how? In general, what exactly made you start and do all this? What exactly was the idea? What do you think? My wife just remembered, translate, they will listen to you. It's already written in. The horoscope? In the horoscope, I didn't choose it. It's written for me. He says, Is it already written in the horoscope? Yes, it is already written in the horoscope. He says, The text mixes. In the horoscope. <laughs> yes, he has always been interested in aviation. It is written in the horoscope, he says. I have dreamed of flying since childhood. I think that Mr. Director and I will fly together on the new airship. Perhaps. Will the director allow me to take control? and steer the project. The director has confirmed that I will be given the opportunity to steer, so everything is perfectly fine. And there is no need to worry. No problem. Before that, I think I will need to obtain some kind of certificate from the state. Very safe. Daraloga, they show Heinchik, he says, very safe, very safe, right? He says, indeed, our slogan is an airship that never falls. The airship, yes, it has six balloons. It never falls, yes. <laughs> Every friend should really drive the bowl. He says that if we indeed make a lorry, he will definitely personally take you on this land. 
When we finish, <laughs> we will definitely go, thank you. He said that it's not if we make the lorry, but when we make it, we will go together. Became a school, became a class, a school, and kind of yes. Friends, I understand that only the frame is indeed visible. This yellow shell hanging here is actually just a decorative shell, you see. Actually, I just looked and noticed, and in that specific corner of the hangar, there are very high-quality premium cylinders stacked, six cylinders that are completely filled with helium and installed in the airships. Well, thank you very much indeed to the director for being so honest and not sugarcoating things, for bringing us and showing the real state of affairs. It's extremely cool. That's all. Thank you, everyone. You can turn it off now. We definitely wanted to ensure that the use of carbon fiber in the airship's frame is possible. The entire frame is made of carbon fiber. Over there is the largest testing ground for airplanes in China. Yes, the Chinese aircraft C919. This is where they conduct tests. Nine, this is the test body where various tests and experiments of different types of Chinese airplanes, models, and prototypes are conducted. I even think I see the airplane itself or its model. This is indeed the residential facility for employees. They actually underwent various trainings here. This was the dining room. This is a cafeteria, so you understand, right? Three years ago, it was still operational. All this is done. And all this is done to launch and certify this advanced technology for manufacturing airships to provide a comprehensive solution in the field of aviation. Why was this place chosen? Why Xi'an? It is practically the capital of aircraft manufacturing in China. By the way, in Xi'an, there is an Elon Musk company that manufactures engines. Samsung makes chips here. More than two years have passed since all the tests were completed. The paperwork has been going on for three years now. Don't you think that in China everything is done much faster? No, it's really the same. Next, it will be necessary to create the same site in Xi'an, exactly the same. Only there the hangar will be twice as large. Its length will be 100. With an extra meter. And in diameter, it should show, it should allow the manufacturing of airships with a diameter of 26 meters. In fact, the work is truly indeed grandiose. It took 17 years and only in the last three years have the papers been signed. But this is about to end and we will really see something more interesting. 